Good morning, dear students. In the last video, we have completed uh, introduction as well as uh, just uh, Alkin's nomenclature. Nomenclature of Alkin's. So today we are going to teach Alkin's and Alkynes. Alkynes and cycloalkynes. Alkynes and cycloalkynes. How to give the namings okay so shall so we start uh, all kings and cyclo all kings all kings and cyclo all kings all kings and cyclo all kings just we have seen only single bond single bond Single bond means the bond between two carbon atoms, alkanes. If double bond is present between the two carbon atoms, double bond is present between two carbon atoms is called in. You can say in. In means double bond. Okay. Uh, it starts from the two carbon atom, not single carbon atom. We know that uh, methane, ethane, propane, butane, heptane, etc. So how can you give that one? If two carbon atoms already we did uh, the cyclic forms, uh, chain forms. So see, two carbons, two carbons mean eth. Double bond is there. Two carbon mean one and two. So double bond between the two carbon atoms. The remaining carbon must satisfy the four uh, bonds. So these are the four bonds. We can write like this, or uh, like this, or uh, like this. Okay. So CH2 double bond CH2. So we can write like this. So this is called what? Eth plus in alkenes. So two carbons mean eth plus uh, in you can say what ethene is equal to ethene okay this is the ethene structure or we can write simply or just we can write like this double bond just ch2 ch2 if propane if we can write prop plus in is equal to propene. So what is the structure? Three carbons. We can three carbons. So three carbons in one, two, three. So double bond between any two carbon atoms. Any. So for example, this one. Double bond between the first, second, third. The double bond between the second and third. Not one and two. So now the bonds are like this. Four. One, two, three, four. So these are the hydrogens. Now one hydrogen, these are the two hydrogens. So now we can write, uh, this is called the CH3, CH double bond CH2. So otherwise we can write like this. One bond and one bond. So CH3, CH double bond CH2. This is called propane. Like you write the butene, pentene, but plus e. Butene. Pent plus e. Pentene. X plus e. Exene. So this is about the alkenes. We can write the alkenes general up to decane. We can write the decane. So pentene, adzene, aptene, octene, nonene, decane. But in the case of cycloalkenes, how can you write it? Cycloalkenes. So please note down all these diagrams. Now, in the case of 
cycloalkins. Cyclo mean cyclic compound. Alkin cycle plus in alkin. So cycle cycle mean this is a cycle. For example, this is the cycle. So how many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So example 5. 5 carbons is called pent. pent. So in is there pentene. Before that cyclic group. Cyclic alk in. So alk mean how many? 5. This is the alk group. In mean double bond. So 5 carbons. You write the 5 carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons is called alk and in pent this is called pent so pent 5 carbons that is the alk group and cycle cycle means this is the cycle group so all 5 groups are cycle and in finally in mean any 2 carbon between any 2 carbon the double bond is present between any 2 carbon of uh, cycle either this or this one or this one so, 1 and 2, the double bond is present between the 1 and 2. So, we can say cyclopentene. So, this is called the cyclopentene. Cycle, cyclo, 5 carbon spent, double bond E. Cyclopentene. You can say cyclopentene. If 3 carbons, 3 carbons, 3 mean? 1, 2, 3. So this one CH2, CH2, CH2. This is a cyclopropane. So now double bond between the any two carbon, for example, this one. So remove the two hydrogen. So here, CH double bond CH and CH2. Here, CH2 and this one. Third carbon is having the CH2 group and first and second have the CH groups. So, so the double bond, double, double bond is present between the 1 and 2. So this is a, how many carbons are there? 3 carbons. 3 mean probe. Probe. Alk, alk is the 3. That is a probe. And in cyclo probe E. Okay. So this is called cyclo probe. Like that similarly cyclo butane. Cyclopentene. So one doubt will come. Sir, more than double bond, we can write? Yes, there is no problem. More than double bond. So more than double bond also, for example, this one. So two double bonds are there. So give the number in. So we will give in the uh, IUPAC name. So just now the, what is alkane? What is alkane? What is the alkanes? If double bond, uh, number of double bonds are one double bond, one triple bond, one single bond, or two double bonds, one triple bond. So we can give the numbers that will be we will discuss in the systematic name or IUPAC name. Okay. Now just uh, difference between the alkanes, alkynes, alkenes. Now we have completed the alkanes and uh, cycloalkanes, alkenes and cycloalkanes. Cycloalkanes. This is a cyclobutene. We can say butene. Propentene. Propene. So like uh, uh, exene. We can say exene. This is the exene. Okay. So this is the uh, general naming of alkanes. Not IUPAC name. We will discuss the IUPAC name. So be more than double bond is there. So how can you give the numbers? So that will be discussed in the latter class. Okay. So this is about the uh, alkenes and cycloalkenes. Now, now alkynes and cycloalkynes. Alkynes. All kinds cyclo all kinds all kind here just 
in alkenes there is a double bond present between the two carbon atoms now a triple bond present between two carbon atoms a triple bond is present between the uh, two carbon atoms that is called the alkynes okay so alkyl so alk mean the number of carbon atoms for example it is also it will also start with the two carbons so two carbons alk alk is what eth eth i so i mean triple bond i mean triple bond so alk mean two carbons mean two so triple bond mean this is the triple bond so carbon must be four carbon atoms so see that is the reason you can write one hydrogen here one hydrogen here so total number of hydrogen is two here satisfied so two carbon is alk triple bond is i so eth plus in eth plus in so ethyne we can write what is the name ethyne the common name is a famous acetylene we can write the acetylene so ifs name is the ethyne acetylene acetylene is a gas we are using the in weldings in weldings that is acetylene gas weldings so that is acetylene so ifs name is the ethyne ethyne so this is about the two carbon is the alk if three carbons are present if number of three carbons that we can say prop so prop plus ine so what is that propyne so propyne so mean here three carbons mean 1 2 3 so triple bond is between the any two carbon atoms now this is a one hydrogen atom two three hydrogen atom present in the first carbon atom second carbon atom no uh, there is no hydrogen in second carbon atom because already four bonds are there one this side and three this side three plus one four now this third carbon atom is having already three so we can write the one hydrogen atom so now this is also satisfied the four carbon so every carbon atom is having four around four bonds uh, uh, every carbon atom is having four four um, the four hydrogens are present four hydrogens are present around the carbon atom so that should be four bonds must be there must must and should so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 4 this one so that every carbon must be possess four bonds so this is the general rule so now this is about uh, propyne like that to but plus ine butyne butyne so butyne exyne heptyne pentyne nonyne decyne so you must uh, Follow that. You, you you have to write all these names. For example, you can write the butyne. How can you write? So butyne means four carbons. Four carbons is one, two, three, four. So this is the butyne. So what is the na CH three, CH two, C. Triple bond C H. So this thing. So in R we can write uh, we can write like this also. One, two, three, four. So triple bond is there like this. So for this one, two, three. So triple bond is there. Okay. This is the profile. You can write profile like this. So butyne. So pentyne. You can write the pentyne. Pent means five carbons. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now I. Any two carbon atoms having the triple bond is the pentyne. 
minus one hydrogen. So one, two. So these are the hydrogens we can write here. So now CH3, CH2, CH2, C triple bond CH. So this is the pentyne. We can write like this one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the structure we can write. Either like this or like this or like this. We can write this. One, two, three, four, five elements. This is about the pentyne. Okay? So these are the structures. And now uh, cycloalkynes, these are all alkynes. Okay? Now we can discuss the cyclo. So it is very easy cyclic form of alkynes. Cyclic. It is also uh, three carbon start. It will start from three carbon atom cycle. So cycle means this is the one, how many carbons? Three. One, two. Cyclopropane. Cyclopropane. You have to uh, write the triple bonds. So cyclopropane. You can write the cyclopropane. No. So cyclopropane. CH2, CC. So there are 1, 2, 3, and 4 atoms. So this is called cyclopropyl. Cyclopropyl. Cyclic group, alk is 3 carbons. Alk, cyclic propyl. Cyclopropyl. Cyclopropyl. And cyclobutyne. Can say cyclobutyne, 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 and cyclopentyne. This is a cyclopentyne. Cyclopentyne, cyclohexyne. Can we write cyclohexyne? Cyclo. Cyclohexyl, like that too. Cyclopropyne, cyclobutane, cyclopentyne, cyclohexane, cycloheptane, cyclooctane, cyclodecane. So these are the alkynes and cycloalkynes. Cycloalkynes. These are the all of cycle in cyclic form, cyclic form of the structures. Okay. So, so we have completed uh, alkenes, cycloalkenes, alkenes, cycloalkenes, alkynes, and cycloalkynes. Now, now we can discuss the more important point. Okay, that is alkyl. Sir, alkyl, alkyl. We can discuss it. Alkyl. So alkyl, alkyl is a. This is an alkyl. And alkyl. So the pronunciation between between you see this is about the okay. Now we will discuss alkyl. So alkyl, what is meant by alkyl? Alkyl R dash is called alkyl. So what is the difference between the alkyl and alkyne? So alkyne, alkyne, n only just n is the difference. So alkyne is triple bond. That is alkynes. Alkyl is just a removal of one hydrogen atom from alkanes. Just the removal of one hydrogen atom from alkanes. From alkanes. 
is called alkyl. R minus hydrogen. So to form the hydrogen, this is the alkyl group. R. So remove one hydrogen from R. So to form the R dash R bond. So R bond is called the alkyl group. For example, so we can write the. For example, alk group is a methyl, methane, CH, O, methane. This is the methane. So, we have to remove one hydrogen from methane. So, remove from one hydrogen from methane. So, now how many hydrogens are there? So, one hydrogen is removed from methane. So this is called the methane, this is one methane and this is called the methyl. You can say methyl. Methyl. Methane, methyl. Okay? So methyl. So now, so mean we can write the CH3 dash methyl. So if you can take ethane CH3 CH3, ethane, this one. So, how can you write? Remove one hydrogen, CH3, CH2, yes. This is called ethyl. Ethyl. Ethyl, methyl. Ethyl, methyl. So, we can write methyl and ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, exyl, heptyl. So, we can write, okay, and just for this style, there is no E, okay, so methyl, ethyl, like this. And if you can write, this is the C2, H5, dash, you can write like this, C2, H5, dash, mean bond, so ethyl group, so methyl, ethyl, methyl, ethyl, like that, propyl, CH3, CH2, CH3, this is the propane, so remove one hydrogen from this, so uh, CH3, CH2, and CH2, this is the propyl, 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 butyl, pentyl, exyl, heptyl. So this is uh, uh, for alkene, so what about the alkene and alkene? Same thing, we can remove one hydrogen from alkenes, we can say alkenyl, alkenyl, alkenyl. So how, so see, just similarly, similarly, we can remove from, for example, ethene, CH double bond, hydrogen, 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 C double bond between two carbon. This is called ethene. Ethylene or ethene. So remove one hydrogen from here. So what is there? CH only one hydrogen, one bond. So otherwise you can write CH double bond, CH one. So this is called the ethyl. Ethyl, 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 or ethyl, ethyl. We can say ethyl. Ethanol, ethanol, alkenyl, ethanol. So remove from one hydrogen from alkene, one hydrogen, alkenyl, alkenyl. So similarly, ethene, ethene, this is the ethene, ethene. So ethene means ethanol. Ethenyl, ethenyl, alkenyl, ethenyl, propenyl, butenyl, pentenyl, heptenyl, hexenyl. Similarly, alkynyls. So alkyl. So remove from one hydrogen from alkyl to form alkynyl. 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 Example, acetylene we can take. Ethyne, you can take. Example is the ethyne. 
So that is CH triple bond CH. So this is called ethyne or ethinyl. We can say ethyne. So remove one hydrogen to form ethinyl. So remove one hydrogen. This is a this is called what acetylene group ethyne. We can say ethyne. 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 I use the name of acetylene is the ethyne. Ethyne. Remove one hydrogen from ethyne to form ethyl alkyl. So that is H C triple bond bond. So ethyl. So this is about the remove one hydrogen from alk group. Either alkene, 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 alkene or alkyne. So different types of alkyls. That is uh, alkyl group, alkynyl group, alkynyl group are formed. Okay, so thank you very much. So this is about the al alkyl group. We have completed alkene, alkene, alkyne, and alkyl. So thank you very much. Please subscribe my video. Thank you.